Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi everyone. I welcome you once again and today we are going to talk about a very delicate issue that's bothering us which is pregnancy. Pregnancy these days it looks like we've forgotten a piece of the sunnah that we want to revive today together. So what you have to do is to contribute in sharing this video so that someone might have forgotten this piece and the person will start implementing it for the betterment of society and the deen. Pregnancy according to the Sunnah way, as a woman, if you are pregnant, the moment you realize it, the first thing that you have to do is to keep it a secret keep it a secret to avoid evil eyes and jealousy protect the destiny of the child is in your hands these days let's see what happens on this social media world the moment the person is pregnant the first thing is to spread the news and from there keep on updating people on how the pregnancy is going on how things are going even if it is headache the person have to come out and share it as a muslim this is not our way of life it is not even healthy even if you are not a muslim to do such a thing so therefore let's not forget about the sunnah way of doing things if the evil eye is not real the prophet peace be upon him probably wouldn't have talking about it Allah wouldn't have cautioned us about it but because it's real that's why we are supposed to be cautious protect yourself prevention is better than cure keep it a secret allow the pregnancy to grow that's why every pregnancy right from the beginning is like it's silent but as it keep going it keeps on growing it manifests itself let people see it and glorify allah for the blessings he has blessed you with it no matter what it will show up by itself so there's no need you going about spreading it telling everybody you are pregnant no you have to keep it a secret my dear keep it a secret even if you have to tell someone it should be necessary that i should tell the person before you tell the person if not allow it to grow and everybody will see you and will know that definitely you are pregnant the second thing you should keep in mind is as couple you have to appreciate the blessing accept it love it some couples get pregnant and they are like maybe we just got married so we don't need it or we are not ready yet until when are you going to be ready it's a blessing that allah has given you and he knows the perfect time that's why he gave it to you it's not up to you to decide keep that blessing accept it and glorify allah for blessing you with such a beautiful gift you don't know how many people are out there looking for the same blessing that he has given you so just appreciate it as couples you can only abort it when it is at a, sta at a stage that it will endanger the life of the mother that's where let's say abortion is allowed if not it's totally not allowed for you to do abortion because we are in a difficult situation because we are not ready because don't give yourself reasons allah gave it to you and he knows better than you he knows you are in a difficult situation and he gave it to you it's a blessing accept it you won't know what will come after it so let's just be cautious about that particular point always accept you don't always have to be ready for it the moment he has blessed you with it appreciate it be graceful and thank him for giving you such a gift then the third point we should take care of let's follow the footstep of mariam mariam's mother mariam's mother made a covenant with allah to dedicate 
her child to the service of Allah. She prayed that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should bless the child and her generation. And I think this is the evidence is very clear about the dua the mother made. Her generation and Maryam Mary itself, the dua manifested in them. And let me say, who doesn't love Isa, alayhi salatu wasalam? Who doesn't love Jesus Christ? Everybody does. And the kind of blessing that the name carries is just a manifestation of the dua that the mother made. Allah accepted the dua, blessed her and her generation and we are all benefiting from the message they brought to us today we are all benefiting from it so sometimes if you make dua don't lose hope in the dua you've made don't underestimate the dua that you've made it's accepted just that the timing might not be right for it to manifest itself so make the dua whilst you are pregnant make sure you make a lot of dua good favors allah's blessing protection for the baby that you are carrying make a lot of dua constantly untiredly then the four points you have to keep in mind as a muslim when you are pregnant as i'm saying you have to make dua let's say about four months going that's where the soul is put into the baby it becomes human so when the soul is breathed into the baby that's when the destiny of the child is written allah command the angels to write the destiny of the child which include four things the deeds that the child will do on this earth the time of his death when and how the person will die is written religion whether the person will be blessed will be a believer or not is also written and then the livelihood of the child what will come on this earth to do is also written everything about the child is written so as a mother imagine yourself being given the opportunity to choose the destiny of your child i believe everybody will want something good for their baby so why not take advantage of that opportunity sit down make duas for your baby even before the soul is written to it that's when you start making the dua until the uh, the soul is breathing to it so whatever goodness you want for the child you have to make ask for it from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't be tired you want something good for your baby and for yourself if the child becomes a good child you benefit from it in this dunya and even after your death that's why good children are sadaqatul jariya because even after your death if they carry on praying for you doing good deeds in your name you get the reward so if you want to benefit from such a thing if you want to get a child who represents as a sadaqah to jaria for you after your death then during the pregnancy period during the pregnancy period you should start making that dedication you should start working towards that goal in the future always when we speak we talk about in the future in the future in the future this is the future of your baby that we are talking about here instead of spending time on social media updating people about it watching unnecessary stuff incorporate a lot of religious activity into your life if you are not that kind of person this is the time you should start incorporating a lot of religious activities 
into your life making a lot of du'as, reading quran asking for forgiveness praying on time if you are not someone who used to pray or you don't even pray on time this is the time you should start doing all those stuff because from this stage after the soul is breathed into the child the child starts to hear things so whatever if it is a bad speech you you are constantly talking about some unnecessary things gossiping about others insulting others everything that you do basically the child can hear it so what kind of lifestyle are you giving to your baby even before the child is being born ask yourself so this is the time you should be speaking some good words listening to recitation of the quran listening to uh, preachers just make sure that everything you do is for your own goodness it's something religious it's something faithful so that your child before even the baby is born the foundation has been laid for the child even before it's coming into this world then after you deliver that's where the main war starts in the upbringing of the child as i said if you want your future which is after your death to be good then you should start doing it right from the pregnancy period and even after giving birth because most of the time as parents especially the mothers that we are talking about you you allow the children to do certain things or you even you yourself you do certain things for them for instance in islam we all know that is haram to add hair extension to your hair but you see it oh she's just a baby she's just a kid then you do it for the person know that the bad deed is written for you as a mother because at that stage the child has not reached uh, has not reached a stage that good deeds and bad deeds are supposed to be written for the person so anything bad that you do for the child or you allow the child to do is written in your name the same thing if you teach her something good then the good deed is written for you so if you go and add her extension to your babies because it is eat and oh she's a baby it's nothing this is normal my dear it's not normal the deed will be written for you so we should take care of certain things and take them into consideration let's revive this piece of sunnah others might not know and they are doing it negligently it's forgiving but if you know for the betterment of yourself and for your child why not do the good thing because sometimes you see others suffering the same thing somebody is looking for even without praying for it the person has it you've been praying for it or let's say even if you are not praying for it you imagine yourself this is where some kind of jealousy starts and comes from you see yourself to be i'm the one who deserves to have this particular thing why am i not having it and he is having it or she is having it even without asking for it you might not know the parents have worked for it right from the beginning so the blessing kept on continuous it kept on increasing the same way you also at that particular stage should do something for your child because we all want something good for our kids on this note i'd like to end here and let's not forget to always remind ourselves of certain things sometimes forgetfulness and sometimes shaitan but that's why constantly you have to keep on remembering yourself a certain thing so that you bring yourself back on track may allah help us all and protect us always remember to say alhamdulillah and be the best kind of you assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh